Welcome to my channel, Ken here. I got really curious about how the soft tube emulation of the Overstay MAS compared to the hardware unit, which I've had for years and used extensively. I like it a lot. So this is by no means a review or an extensive tutorial. This is just a back-to-back -back comparison. So let's go. Okay, I have the uh, software and the hardware unit, and um, let's give it a run here, you know, let's compare them. So I have a little piece here, a couple of pieces I put together just for this purpose. Here's the hardware. And let's try the software, same thing. I do want to point out that the hardware is much more difficult to get the level to match with on and off. Uh, whereas there's an auto button here on the uh, software where you have a, a button that just evens it out. That makes this comparison a little bit tough. So you gotta sit with it for a while in order to hear these differences because it's subtle. Let's try and, uh, and just hear the guitars. <laughs> this is the software. Definitely hear those up harmonics being emphasized. Okay, hardware. Okay, let's try the drums. Do the same thing to the hardware. I'll turn that mix knob up here. Something's happening there. Okay. Um, back to the software version. And we'll hear something that's not as upfront, maybe.
try some uh, extreme settings on this. I'll go up to 9 on this. It's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, you got to get used to to these knobs where it says low shelf off and it, it's more like how the saturation attacks the signal than it has to do with with an actual EQ type thing. This is a blend knob. Let's do the same thing with the hardware. Softube did an excellent job with this emulation. It gets really, really close. Um, of course, there are variables such as uh, they didn't use my unit here to emulate. Also, there might have been variations in their setup. Um, but it is definitely brighter than the hardware unit I have here, as well as, you know, the lack of beefiness in the lower mids and the upper bass. Um, but it's tiny. Also, you know, with the hardware you get a little more 3D uh, dimensionality, uh, but it's also percentile difference. As well as with the software you get tons of advantages such as putting it across multiple tracks, you get two units where you have even the second unit that I didn't show today, you get even more control over the emphasis. You know, you can get very frequency specific on it, which is very cool um, if you want to use it on s single instruments um, as opposed to a mix bus or master bus or a, a stem bus that I was doing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, of course, there's the price difference, but the MAS is not super expensive, but it's you know, ever since I got it, it's been in my system because I, I love the way it sounds. I really love the Soft 2 one as well. So that's my take on this. You know, the Soft 2 version is definitely brighter and it's, um, it's very flexible. <laughs>